You are now watching a Milky Films production. Hey guys, Milky Films back with another video. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading lately. Um, college and stuff just gets in the way. But people have been asking me, a couple people, how I do my first person was of flares on uh, the Call of Duty first person shooter. Um, I'm going to be using Sony Vegas Pro 13 and I'm sure that you can use other versions of it as well. As long as it has uh, the, the masking tool, you should be fine. This is my first tutorial, so um, let's get right to it. You're going to need four things. I'm using four things. I'm using one, the main video, two and three, which are the two flares, and then four, which the sound effect. Um, I will be including the flares and the sound effect at the end so that you can use it in your project if you want to. Um, let's get right to it. You're going to import the video. Zoom in. Right there. Look for the spot you first take that shot. So, bam, right there. You, on mine, it's that window, so you use S to split. Forward one frame, S again. And zoom in right here, and you're gonna notice that little frame there, that little douchebag. You're gonna right click it, and you're gonna copy that. You're gonna go to insert, video track, do that twice the top one here you right click you paste it now you have these that frame right above it all oh, I think it's here what up oh let's see be lined up right there see that so you see that you have the video portion and the audio por portion but you don't want the audio because well you already have the audio right there um so what we can do is right click it well first of all go to here hold control click the the video make sure there's a little yellow board around it and then you click the audio it should turn green or fill which whatever color you're using whatever is there you're gonna go right click group um remove from this will allow these two things to like move freely around so you right click the video i mean the audio portion and then you delete it see that now it's just the video you go over here, like somewhere in this box here, you right click and then delete track. So now you just have the video. So once you have that, you're going to get your muzzle flare. Be using this one. You know, go here to where this frame ends and you're gonna end it right there. So it's only that frame long. Now what you're gonna do is go to here to your compositing mode, and go to screen, and that should remove the black of the flare. Um now you're going to go to event pan crop, you're going to go to your masking tool, and then just zoom it in a bit, move it around if you need to, if you zoomed in a little bit too much like I did, and zoom out a little bit more, there we go. So you're going to start masking this out right here, and the gun, and we're going to, I'll get back to you, I'll fast forward to this process, and get back at you when I'm done. So once you're done masking out the gun, you're going to see that the flare is right, you know, front where it should be. But there's one thing, this edge here, that edge is way too damn sharp, you know. So what you want to do is go to your feather type, in, feather percentage, click one time so it's 1.0 now it gives it that little soft edge right there so it's not too harsh so what you're going to do now is go to your flare and you reposition this small fall as needed might need to be a little bit bigger that's too damn big what if it's like put it like that ah, it's too much too much and let's say about there yeah that's good Move it to the left a little. There we go. Yeah, that's about right. So the only thing we need now is our sound effect. So our gunshot. So we're gonna go to insert audio track. Click and drag this bad boy in there. 
rescale it, re trim the ends and stuff, whatever you want you need to do. Go over here and then trim the end. So now we have this thing. And of course it's laggy on my screen, but I will include it in the I will include it in the end so that you know what it looks like. I'm gonna do the whole video and you guys will see the finished product. Like I said, I'm gonna include the muzzle flares and the sound effect at the end so that you can use it in your project as well as you want to. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I mean, it's up to you. Any my choice, I don't have control over your mouse. But it'll be really nice if you do so. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Milk Films. See you on the next one.